everybody welcome back to another vlog as you can tell by the title we bought a hot tub we actually talked last year if you watched our vlogs about how we wanted a hot tub but hot tubs are very expensive it's a big purchase um and we have a lot of other things to pay for so we put it on the back burner until now we were able to buy a floor model hot tub from a local pool company so if you're interested in buying a hot tub that's an option in most places as well i did not have a hot tub growing up andrew didn't have a hot tub growing up this is just a brand new experience for both of us that we're so excited about not that i need to explain myself because i know that i don't have to and if you have a home what you do with your money is totally your business our job is sharing our home on the internet so we open ourselves up for criticism and comments and concerns from strangers first and foremost andrew and i are huge homebodies uh we don't really vacation we don't travel we put all of our money back into this house to make the house the best house it can be so uh a hot tub was a purchase that we've been wanting to make i just feel like i need to say something about that before we continue with this video because I feel like if you guys watch these longer videos, you understand us better than somebody who just sees a 20 second, 30 second video while they scroll shorts or, you know, Instagram. Anyway, welcome to the hot tub vlog. First thing that has to be done is remove a section of the fence panel so that we can get the hot tub right here. So hot tub is going right here. I don't know if I explained. So it's a seven by seven. So here's how it's gonna go. It'll be like this. We have to film our little transition where we walk like this. Wait, are the arms out? And then it'll be the hot tub. You guys will see it later. So we just drew out with some chalk exactly where we want the hot tub to sit. So like I said, it's seven by seven. So we have it back a little bit here. And then I was thinking how cute it would be to do like lights string lights dangling from the tree or something and then it leaves room at the front for steps i hear the truck it's time <laughs> da 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 here it is I love this like pearl finish on it. And it was actually the one in store that as soon as I saw it, I was like, ooh, that's a pretty one. And then we found out after the fact that we could get it for a good price because it was the floor model. All right, everybody. So it's about an hour later. Andrew has been working on hooking up the electrical because I don't know if I said it already, but the last owner of this house actually had a hot tub, which made things easier for us because he had already done the like electrical hookups for it. But we have to run this big, black wire from the panel to the hot tub. It's a whole thing. I'll spare you the details because I don't know them. I have to take these screws out of either side so that I can take this cover off because I'm running the wire into the control box. Whoa. our patio umbrella protecting the electrical. White is normally neutral. There's a 20 amp and a 30 amp breaker in the sub panel and the 20 amp doesn't have a neutral. It just has two hots and a ground. So white becomes hot. The 30 amp has a neutral, which is the blue. So it's got the two hots, the neutral, and then the ground. So I'm gonna attach the grounds together neutral is going to go there and then you just follow the diagram for how the other one's going. Where'd you learn to do all this? You too.
67 right now. Or 66. 65. Oh. Ooh. Jet Wow. Set the temperature control to the desired temperature. Temperature. So set temperature. Would that be this? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, because that's up and down. This temp log is set. Okay. Okay. Now, at this point, we just have to let it heat up. So. Let's take some practice. It's 100 degrees. It is the next day. It's been over 24 hours. So um, we have to set it, wait for it to get hot enough, and then do all the chemicals. So that's what we're going to do now. Okay, so we're using the pool um, test strips. This is the same thing that we use when we test the water in our own pool. Wait 15 seconds. Don't move it. Close enough. Good? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, what are we at here? That's fine. Oh, that's good. Yep. That looks like it's low. The chlorine's low. The pH is a little high. Now we have to add some pH down. We're filming on both devices, so you guys get to see us in long form and short form. And you have to remove this. Whoa, yeah. Uh, just add a little more. What's it going to hurt? That's good. It's going to run for 10 minutes with the lid open and then we'll add the next thing. We're gonna do another test now that the clean cycle's off. These ones are specific for hot tubs. It came with our spa, um, but the other one is for pool and spa. So let's test them. Do you want me to dip it? Uh, do you want to dip it? Sure. The alkalinity is normal-ish. The pH is extremely high. So we're just following exactly what it says in the manual. But on the back of the thing, it says something different. Yeah, it says sprinkle pH down across surface of spa, circulate 30 to 60 minutes and retest. But in the manual that came with the hot tub, it says to pour it into the skimmer. It says sprinkle it in there and put the spa in clean mode, and that's an automatic 10 minute circulation. Chlorine. <laughs> a little more, yeah, a little more. Yeah, that's good. Okay, the last thing we have to add is water conditioner, the whole bottle. Yeah, that's what it says on it. Read it in the back. So this came with it, <laughs> we didn't look at. Basically fill your tub, test the water, adjust the alkalinity and hardness, adjust pH, which we did that. Add that bottle, which we did, and that will lock your pH in between 7.8 and 8.2. I mean, this video is not meant to be a tutorial. We're just trying to learn as as we go it's our first time with this you can so. watch us mess up so you can you watch don't. us mess up so you don't exactly um when we shared our video of opening our pool i got a comment from one of you guys who were saying to take your water samples to a pool place and get it tested because the strips aren't always accurate uh we we do that all the time actually i just didn't show it in that video that's the same thing that we're gonna end up doing with this hot tub is taking the water and getting it tested when we do the pool water um, so that'll help us to stay on top of it and make sure that everything's balanced. But I just wanted to say that because I didn't explain that in the pool opening video and then one of you guys mentioned it. The alkalinity, you want it to be between 40 and 120. So right now it's between like 40 and 80. So it's a little like lower than what they asked. The pH, they want 7.4, which I mean we're a little low and the chlorine hardness is fine. Sounds like we're ready to get in. I have been waiting for this moment. I even have a rope for the occasion. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and we will see you next Sunday for another video. Bye. Bye. Ha <laughs> ha